local community theaters uh, and and hospitals being together as a needed uh, a needed contributions to our communities. It's an interesting matchup. We've certainly seen recently with the COVID epidemic how critically important it's been to have outstanding hospital systems in our, our in our community, and particularly here at University of California, San Francisco. We've been incredibly fortunate to have some of the the, the, the brightest minds uh, addressing this uh, huge challenge, and I think the community services is is really quite amazing. The, it, it, the arts are just as critical to a healthy society, to a healthy community, to, to be able to elevate narratives and to uh, bring people together in a way that is inspiring and, uh, and uh, collaborative. I, I think uh, both, you know, it's interesting to see the mashup uh, in your question, including both uh, the hospital systems and, and local theaters. And they're both critically important for, in some ways, many of the same reasons, nurturing a healthy society. I'm Victor Valcor. I'm the executive director for the Global Brain Health Institute and the Atlantic Fellows for Equity in Brain Health, as well as a professor at the University of California, San Francisco. If you'd like to learn more about our, our institute or the play, watch this video. I know a little bit about the relationship with uh, Jake Broder and Dr. Bruce Miller, but I'm certainly not an expert on this. The content of the play has been around for a long time. Dr. Bill Seeley and Bruce Miller published a paper in this, uh, in this space. I think around 2005, I had read that paper as an early faculty member at the Memory Aging Center. And it essentially talks about the story of this play, an individual whose art changed substantially in the setting of the neurodegenerative syndrome. And, uh, and uh, it, what's really very exciting about it, I don't know if I need to give, I should give the, I probably shouldn't give the punchline around the way, uh, you need to come and watch the play because there's a twist um, that connects this, uh, this patient and the art that she creates that is just, uh, you know, unmasked and almost gives you goosebumps thinking about it. Um, we we uh, have you we have uh, leveraged this story uh, for a large event in San Francisco, and and I think Jake Broder had become interested in it before that. And really wanted to bring this to the stage, and I think part because of the exciting story that uh, that underlies it. Uh, to to us, it really highlights the the emergence of creativity in the setting of neurodegenerative disorders, and is a really strong advocacy platform for us to raise a, raise awareness of these neurodegenerative disorders. It's important that this program be seen online for a large audience uh, because it will help us to raise awareness with larger audiences than we can get into one performance. And, and certainly magnitudes of cost saving and scaling that are possible. So I'm particularly excited about this and our ability to share it worldwide. Uh, one of the showings will be in uh, connection with an international conference on, on dementias. And I hope that that will bring in a large international audience. The added benefit there as well is an opportunity for the Global Brain Health Institute to lead, to lead in the narrative that arts are critically important in our, in our mission to protect the world's aging populations from threats to brain health. Well, I think the audience will certainly get uh, an incredible entertainment opportunity. Uh, the storyline is uh, is one that has twists and turns, um, and and as I mentioned before, almost gives me goosebumps thinking about how this all comes to kit together. Um, I understand that the actors are phenomenal, uh, so I'm absolutely certain the performance will be uh, amazing. I also think that the the, um, the pe people who watch the event will learn a little bit about specific neurodegenerative syndromes that. Dementia can present in many different ways, not solely with loss of memory, but can pre present with behavioral changes, can, uh, can pre present with language changes. So that degree of awareness, I think, will be very important uh, for people to, to, to get out of it. Um, and as I mentioned before, I think the intersection between science and, uh, and the entertainment of this, um, this opportunity is also critically important in terms of the a mechanism, a narrative in which we can increase awareness broadly, working together collaboratively across silos, not within our silos. 
we've accompanied each of the nights with a little discussion with some of the experts in, in um, neurodegenerative disorders. This will be a really great opportunity for, for people to understand a little bit of the science behind the disease that is presented. Um, it's uh, really a novel opportunity. And it again is a pattern that we want to create more and more. We would love to partner with more artists in which we could fold in various aspects of neuroscience to increase awareness around science, increase awareness around dementia, uh, particularly around early signs and symptoms of dementia so that people understand uh, and seek support and help earlier on in disease. One large challenge we have is that many people with dementia do not seek treatment for a long time, thinking it may instead be some behavioral or psychiatric illness uh, rather than a neurodegenerative syndrome. So I think this will be another opportunity to speak to the experts about these concepts and, and maybe uh, increase the awareness around the early symptoms of disease and the need to seek support and care. People should watch this play to learn a little bit about a neurodegenerative syndrome and also to be entertained by a really fascinating story. Um, to learn a little bit about the possibility of uh, emergence of creativity in the setting of neurodegenerative disorders. Um, there, there are many compelling reasons to watch this. Uh, I'm particularly excited to see the quality of the performance, which I'm absolutely certain will be outstanding. And uh, the entertainment value of this uh, will be incredibly high. And at the same time, an educational opportunity. I'm Victor Valcor. I'm the executive director for the Global Brain Health Institute and a professor at the University of California in San Francisco. If you've enjoyed this discussion and want to learn more about our institute or the play, join us. Uh, this premier event occurring online and open to all.